What the heck is going on everyone? In this video I'm going to show you a quick fix to a bug that a student reported and it is in a feature surrounding the redirect to the original URL when a request is made when a user is not logged in. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say you go to Yelp Camp and this actually happens, I think it happens in Surfshop as well if you're coming from COVID Node. This is Yelp Camp from Cole Steele's Web Developer Bootcamp. If you're in Yelp Camp and you try to create a new campground, but you're not logged in, server has to be started first or nothing will happen, it'll take you to a login page, right? We, we tried to create a new campground, it takes us to the login page, and it just says, hey, you need to be signed in first. And so if you sign in, then it takes you back to the new campground page that you were trying to get to originally, which is really nice because initially, or at least in the old application, if you went to new campground, it would ask you to log in, and then when you logged in, it would just take you back to campgrounds or something like that, and then you'd have to click on new campground again. So it's just an extra click and inconvenience for the user. But now the way we have it set up, when you try to go to the new campground, you're not logged in, it tells you to log in, you log in, it takes you back to the original destination. That's awesome, except when you go to new campground, you're not logged in, and you decide, you know what, I don't want to log in, I don't have a user account or whatever your reason may be. So then you start clicking around and you're navigating the website and then you decide, you know what, I'm actually gonna log in now. Uh, I have a user account. And you weren't intending to go to new campground at this point, you just wanted to log into the website, but now it's taking you to new campground. So now it's like the opposite effect, right? You didn't mean to go to new campground, it's taking you there, and now if you wanna go somewhere else, that's just an extra click. So how do we solve that? That's what we're gonna do in this video. So over in our code, uh, the code that handles that whole redirect thing is over here in this middleware. It's this is logged in middleware. And so if not rec dot is authenticated, so if the user's not logged in, then set the return to property on the session and set it equal to the rec.original URL. So rec.original URL is the URL that is the URL that you're currently at when you make the request. So you try to go to new campgrounds and it's about to redirect you to the login page. But before any of that happens, you get intercepted inside this function and it's saying, where are we coming from? We're coming from campgrounds new or Maybe we're just coming from the login page, right? That's the problem that we're trying to fix. It's where are we coming from? How does it know? Well, right now it's always assuming that you're coming from campgrounds new because if if you're coming from campgrounds new, that's when it's going to set this return to. Well, the problem is of course, if you navigate away from it and then you go to login and then it doesn't send you to like the home page or wherever you thought you would go to. So the fix for this is going to be that we don't assign the session right here inside the is logged in middleware. We'll actually get rid of that, but we do need to assign it somewhere. And so if we head over to app.js and we scroll down, I'm already scrolled down here, but scroll down from the top until you find this middleware that gets run for every single request. So anytime a request to any route is, is made by the user, they have to hit this middleware. And so what happens here is we say, the current user is equal to rec.user. And if a user is logged in, then current user is that logged in user. Otherwise, the current user is undefined. And then the res.locals.success is equal to rec flash success. And then same for error. That's if we have a success or an error message. And then we go on to the next function in this middleware chain until ultimately it resolves to a page getting rendered. Well right here we can do a little check and we can say where are you coming from uh, if you're coming from somewhere other than say the login page or maybe even the home page i'll show you that in a second then we want to redirect you back to where you're coming from if you if you're coming from the login page we don't want to redirect you back to the login page because then you're just going to be in this loop right you logged in but it takes you back to login that can be kind of confusing so what we can do here is have an if statement and we can put all the different route paths inside of here that we want to ignore basically. And so we'll put a bang, the exclamation at the beginning, make this a little bit bigger for those of you on smaller screens. And we'll put an array here 
and then inside the array, inside of strings, we'll put the routes. So in this case, we have slash login, that's one. And then the other one's just the home page. And I'll show you why we do that one in a second. So the home page is forward slash. And those two routes, if you're not coming from either of them, then we want to go ahead and do whatever's inside this if statement. So those two routes, we're going to do a dot includes. And we're basically saying that does this array include whatever is about to be put inside these parentheses? If it does not include, then we're going to basically, if it does not match either of these two strings, then we're going to go into this. So where are we going to get the URL to check against? And that is rec.original URL. So again, the original URL is where the request is coming from. So if you're on the login page and you send a post request, it's going to check and say, uh, where, where are you coming from? Oh, you're coming from login? Well, then don't worry about this. We're just going to redirect you to the normal place, which you'll find out more about that in a second. Oh, you're coming from the home page? Same thing. But if you're coming from anywhere else, then let's go ahead and do something special here. And so we open up our block. And at this point, we say rec.session and we call this property return to with a capital T is equal to rec dot original URL. And that's it. We're saying, hey, if you're coming from any route other than the login or the home page, then go ahead and set this return to property equal to wherever it is you're coming from. And that's going to help us out because if we go over to the controller for users and go down to the post for user login, you can see here on line 29, we say, redirect URL is equal to rec.session.return to, or if rec.session.return to is undefined, then just go ahead and send the user back to the campgrounds index slash campgrounds. And then here you can delete rec.session.return to. Now that we're updating it every single time, I don't know if that's entirely necessary to have that extra little process in there because it's always going to be updating. Um, so it's really up to you to delete that. I'm not sure the best way to determine if that's like using more resources than it should but honestly i think it's pretty trivial in the grand scheme of things so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there basically what happens is every time the user logs in we just delete that rec.session.return to but just know that anytime you make a request after that rec.session.return to is going to get updated to something new so it's almost always going to be set equal to something at some point in time okay so then the last thing we do is we redirect to the redirect url which is this variable which is either the value of return to on the session or campgrounds if there is no return to value. Okay, so that's why this middleware is important because now we're telling it, hey, the last place that we were before we tried to log in was this path that we're setting to return to. And that's where we want to go back to after we're done logging in. So you make a request, it says, where are you coming from? If it's anywhere other than login or homepage, we go ahead and put it on the session. And then when you submit that login page, it says, okay, let's go ahead and return you to wherever you're coming from. If you're not coming from anywhere specific, then we'll send you back to campgrounds kind of as a fallback. So let's go ahead and test that out. So a logout, initially we would go to new campground and if we logged in, it should send us back to new campground. And it does, great. Now the issue was that if you went to new campground and then you went you just left and you didn't log in and you went around the website and clicked all around and then you decided, you know what, I'm going to log in. But we just came from campgrounds, right? We didn't come from the new campground. So what was happening before is it was still sending us back to the new campground page, which was kind of annoying. So at this point, we just came from the home page or from the index page for campgrounds. And so if we log in, it takes us right back to the same uh, campgrounds index page, which is the behavior that we want. Now, what I added in is that if you go to login, right, and we click on login again, so now the place that we're coming from is login, and you try to log in, it actually sends you back to campgrounds. It doesn't send you back to login, because if you're logged in, there's really no point in going back to the login page. This is just confusing, right? It's asking you to log in, but up here in the top right corner, you can see the option to log out. We already have a session. That wouldn't make any sense. So it makes a lot more sense if you're coming from login for whatever reason to send you back to forward slash campgrounds. The other thing is if you just landed on the website 
and you go to yelpcamp.com or whatever the URL is, and you go directly to login from the top up here, well, we just came from the home page. Now, going back to that landing page isn't uh, exactly useful for us. So if we log in, it actually takes us back to Fort slash campgrounds, which is a little bit nicer of uh, just user experience overall. So that's it, just to review. I know I've pretty much beaten it into the ground at this point, but uh, we updated the is logged in middleware. We took out the assignment of the session property return to from here. Okay, so we took that line out and we moved it over into app.use inside of app.js. This is the middleware that gets run every single time. If you didn't know, app.use is Express's way of saying, hey, anything that's inside of app.use is going to get run every time a request is made. And so here we check where are you coming from. If you come from the homepage or the login page, then just ignore this. We'll send you back to campgrounds. Otherwise, we want to store where you're coming from on the session. And the reason we do that is because we're coming from one request to another request right and we have to have a way to transfer that information around the only way to do that between multiple requests is to store it on a session so then over here when we're going from the login page and whatever page we came from before that to posting to a whole nother request right this is a post request now we still have access to that return to variable we can assign it to the redirect URL and that's where we re redirect to Otherwise, if that doesn't exist for whatever reason, then we can just go back to campgrounds as a default. And that's it. So this is how you correct the bug. You still get the same behavior, except it's a little bit better because you don't have the weird behavior of uh, redirecting back to an unexpected route. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.